G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It has been a while since I've had this on the channel. Um, I had a few problems with one of the previous updates. It didn't respond too well to my system, but thankfully that seems to have been fixed. So it's time to go back to some uh, KSP battleships once again. So I've already built our ship for this particular mission. Now, we are going to be going up against three heavy cruisers that are going to try and sink transport ships that we're escorting. We have to escort these ships, and uh, they all have to survive. So we've built two heavy cruisers. We will get two of these. They're 16,000 tons displacement total, and they both carry twin 10-inch guns on forward and rear, two cannons per turret, and... 24, I believe, yep, 24 5-inch guns for the biggest small HE secondary barrage that I can possibly put together. They also do have 18-inch torpedo tubes, two on the sides, one on the bow, and one on the stern. So, the idea is getting as close as we possibly can, 10-inch guns the whole way in, hammer them as hard as we possibly can with the secondaries, and get torpedoes off on them in order to actually take these targets out. We are also carrying anti-flooding. We expect heavy cruisers. They're probably going to have torpedoes as well. We've got reinforced bulkheads. We've got upgraded armor. We've got anti-torp defenses. We're double-hulled. We've got range fighters on, hydraulic, tu uh, hydraulic turrets for faster turret rotation speeds, enhanced reloading, basically all the bells and whistles, and we're still carrying some reasonable armor. So... The cost we're paying here, however, is we've only got a 25 knots top speed, and to try and get engine efficiency on this thing, we had to put three dual funnel larges on it, and actually to get this engine to breathe. We have got to 100% efficiency, so we can, well, hopefully this will work. I have no idea if it will or not. We haven't tried this one before, but we'll know soon enough. Anyways... Let's have some fun. All right, so Empire of Japan, two heavy cruisers. That's me with two transports and the enemy Italians. Three heavy cruisers. All right, so targets are located to the north, which is pretty normal. So we'll begin our right turn into the north. We're going to keep it at maximum speed, 25 knots for the moment. And these are our transports. So let's just have a quick look at those. They're turning away from the fight. Good. Atago is getting out of here. No meaningful armor. 12,000 ton transport. No weapons. Same for both. You know, I never actually gave this class a name. It's the Kaikoma. And Yatsugataki. I think my Japanese pronunciation is as bad as my pronunciation of pretty much everything else, so my apologies to anybody else out there. Alright, so, still no targets. We're going to speed this up to three times until we can actually find what we're after. And we have guns firing. Alright, so they can see us, we cannot see them. Now I did put the best towers I possibly could on this thing, so we should have the maximum spotting range, as well as having the uh, the best uh, range finder that we can fit. Clearly it's not enough, however. That is a lot of shots coming in. Light damage, but nothing serious. Looks like a lot of HE spam. I'm guessing from the amount that we're getting at two times, these are probably... They won't be anything big. Two inch, two inch, four inch guns, tops. And target sighted. All right, so we're gonna straighten this up. Let's go back to regular speed as we begin closing in. First target will be our primary. We have got a bit of an angle going on here, so we should be okay. Let's have a look at what we've got. So, about almost 5.1 out. Actually, they're almost in top range. That is a lot of dual turrets. Although I'm not seeing casemates, so it might not be so bad. Yeah, 
pretty similar build on 1 and 2 overall, although there's probably some subtle differences, and there will be a third ship here that we can see the shells firing, but we haven't detected yet. No, there it is. And yes, once again, very similar design. They won't all be the same, though. That's the thing with this game. They will actually be differences between the ships. So we have... Oh, we're all right. Just some light, slight dings in the armor. Still 100% structural. Now, I'm actually going to slow us down here at the moment. We're just going to go back to full. Just to give us best accuracy. The extra armor we put on this thing seems to be working. We're taking the hits. Nothing's getting through. over for HE so when we turn on the side our 5 inch guns are not going to have a lot of penetration, I imagine these cruisers will have more than 5 inches of side armor so we're, gonna, we're not going to get through but if we can nail them with a barrage of 5 inch uh, HE fire we should hopefully start to torch them a bit Range to target, 3.9. Speed this up a little bit more as we close in. Now I've let him cross the T here. But I'm hoping we have to break this once the torpedoes come into play. Start doing your own thing. I want you to go around the back, circle around them. We're going to split them up in two directions. Uh, you're not supposed to be going that way, just you. Alright, so fire on deck on the rearmost ship. Now we can actually have a look at what they are. So we've got the uh, Maria Teresa. 8 inch, 7 inch, 3 inch and 2 inch guns. 8 inch, 7, 3 and 2. So pretty much the same on those. 8, 7, 5 and 2. So slightly different configuration on the final ship. No torpedoes between the three of them, so our torpedo protection was wasted. I made an assumption there, and uh, yeah, no payoff. However, we have torpedoes in the water, so hopefully they didn't take torpedo protection, because that'll make life much easier for us. Now, I'm going to run you up to flank, so you can begin running down the rearmost ship. Damage to the main tower. Although structurally, still 100%. Tanking like a boss. Now, guns accuracy is going to be a little bit all over the spot at the moment because we're in the middle of the turn. But it is what it is, not much we can do there. I'm hoping they will stay together and not break. That torpedo should run true and give the uh, final ship the uh, Parthenon? I think, maybe. Give the 
apart and open a bit of a hard time. Alright, I'm going to switch you over to AP. Just to see whether or not we can get some penetration to this range on the 10 inch guns. Unfortunately, they're beginning to turn away. Good for our transports, which are getting to run. Unfortunately, I think that torpedo may be wasted now. Actually, we'll set the torpedoes. Yeah, we'll switch the torpedoes on both ships to safe. Should increase the chances that they'll actually hit when they do fire. They're not going to fire at low probability shots. Right, so we are going to straighten up as we complete this turn, because it looks like they're going to try and turn back. Oh, cheeky, 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 I can see what they're doing. These two are turning back in the other direction as we're making the turn. This one's going to try and pull us off where those two get around and go for our transports. I'm going to continue engaging with the Yats. And we're going to turn in and keep going on these two with the Kaikoma. We should probably turn in with both, to be fair. Two versus one, when they're, it's the ship that's actually defending the transports, is probably not such a great idea. And these are a bit quicker. What are their top speed? As far as we can tell... see what the top speed is. Where is it? Our uh, top speed, 25.5. She's slightly faster than us, but not by a lot. Only by half, half a knot. Uh, actually, we'll switch to auto on both. time speed here and just get things moving a little bit. Still running really well. 99 on structure. 98 now. We took a penetrating hit there. Definitely doing better than they are. They are hammering us pretty hard here. Alright, so, dual torpedoes have just fired off. So Kaikoma's having another crack, and we have got these set to safe now. So these are a high probability shot. If they hit, if we can hit him with double torpedoes, he's done. That ship will be done. No, she's turning away. She saw him in the water. That's alright. means I can complete the turn. And yeah, it looks like the, uh, the Maria Teresa's managed to get around us here. So we are going to have to do something about her. turn back eventually.
10% to hit. On the 8.1, well, you're still in the turn. You're running straight now. Mostly. Unfortunately, we're sort of bracketed here, so I'm kind of hoping we'll get another torp volley off. And she won't see it coming. She really needs... Well, she's taking some flooding damage here. Hopefully we can get her a little bit more. And our engine's damaged. Two torpedoes in the water. Alright, so I'm going to turn Kaikoma off. Oh, that's looking good. Those torps are looking good. That could be the end of it. I think she's done. Alright. Now we're going to run down the rest as quickly as we can. Now how far away have our transports managed to get? Alright, so for the moment they seem to be far enough away and they're still steaming, which is good. Because we've been completely rounded off here at the moment. If they wanted to run for our transports, we can't stop them at the moment. Such a beautiful sight seeing one of them go down. Alright, so, let's pull it back to half and see if we can tighten up this turn, because we really need to charge in on these two. Actually, it looks like we've lost quite a lot of power here. What am I... Rudder damage, so we can't actually turn at all. Get the uh, the Yach the Yachsugataki to actually push in here. I had to think about the name there for a second. Flotation's to 72, so we are pumping the water out, and we do I haven't repaired the ruddy yet. 75. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong ship then. Was I? No. 78. Now we are pumping water out, that's alright. The rudder appears to be good now. So get back up to full speed. Turning into being a surprisingly long fight, I thought we'd be able to, uh, I thought we'd be well into taking out the second ship at this point. But not so much, although we've done a lot of surface damage to this thing. These 5 inch secondary barrages that we've got at the moment seem to be doing a great job. Look at the surface damage across the top. Just ripping the deck up on this thing. damage to the secondary tower, but we're still fine. We've got 100% float, 100% on structure, so uh, the Yats here is taking a... taking this like a boss. Chance to hit only 6.5. Kaikoma could 
use closing some range in at this point. And it looks like at the very least they may, we've managed to sort of push our way back in to where we can defend our transports. They're gonna have to sink us if they want to get past us. hard run of this over, because I want to cut these two off. It'll be about there. Bit of a fire going on on the ats here, but we're doing okay. Only 26% chance to penetrate at the moment, just because of the angles involved here but we really are causing her some pain. Begin turning this one in. Hopefully we get a torpedo launch here soon enough. subtle turn I think we'll just start presenting her the nose you get the Kaikoma to come in and actually start leading the next section of this fight since she seems to have got herself all sorted out now Percentage chance to hit is still low with the damage she's got to the towers, but it's not completely awful. Unfortunately, these two won't separate now. They're staying together. Otherwise, we could isolate one and see whether or not we could uh, crossfire. But they're just fast enough to stay ahead of us, and they're just doing a wide circle together, so. Now what I'm gonna do is try and turn in line with them, so the Yats here crosses over behind the Kaikoma, and draw an X through the center of the circle that they're creating as they're going around. in the water. Slow down at times two here at the moment. And unfortunately they've spotted the torpedoes again. And they're going to break that. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Although, they're starting to split, I don't think Maria Teresa will be able to run down those transports now. It's actually, though, she shouldn't be able to even see them at this point. Flank and see whether or not we can get the uh, the yats to cross over and catch the Maria over here. And with her rudder damaged, we should be able to now catch her and finally put this one on the bottom. So 88. I'm going to switch to HE on the cats. On the Kaikoma. Come 
on, give me some fires. G give me some hits. Now we should have only lost one casemate here, so we should have a better secondary than this. Case, mate. Oh, switch back to auto. Uh, rudder in hard to close. Uh, it looks like, yeah, Maria Therese is not trying to go after the transport. She's trying to turn back over to crossfire us. So if I continue straight through with the Yats, we should be able to cut her off. Fire flooding in the bow, and she's still got a rudder taken out. Surviving like a bit of a champion, though. Taking some hits over here though off the Maria. Come on, Yats. About torpedoes. Should have already been fired. Torpedo in the water. She can't turn. Yep, there it is. Torpedoes out. Yeah, and that's a that yeah, that's gonna hit. It's gonna hit her right in the midsection. Now we're talking. Alright, so our engine's knackered. Throw it back to half. Hard rudder over, and we'll just pound the hell out of her, and then. The Kaikoma can come up the other side and finish it off. And she looks like she's trying. There we go, she's sinking. Alright, so we've got to complete this turn as quickly as we can and as tight as we can so we can start catching up with Maria because she looks like she might be about to try a run. Starting to run straight. Push it to flank. Push it to flank. Let's see if we can run her down. Nope, she's turning off. She only went wide. She's not actually trying to disengage. Uh, to disengage and go after the transports. So for the moment, if I just make slight turns, I should be able to bracket her. Keep her in between the two ships and see whether or not we can come into a position where we can hit her from two angles at once. Now, we've still got an hour to actually complete this, so we have plenty of time.
What is her top speed? She seems to be a bit quicker. No, 24.5. We're actually slightly faster than her. It looks like the Yats is actually going to catch her up just nicely at this point. So 2.1 range to target. Homer's not keeping up too well here at the moment, although she's still got a top speed, she's just in a bad position to actually rein it in. Uh, damage to the main tower now. And we do have a bow torpedo out. And she saw the torpedo again, so she's turned away. Unfortunate, they always seem to spot the torpedoes. This, whatever these are, these have really good towers. They've got high spotting capability, much higher than what I have on mine, and much higher range with, overall, probably higher accuracy as well, to be honest. You know, for heavy cruisers, they don't seem to be heavy cruisers, or that's what they were supposed to be according to the mission breakup, but they seem more... Uh, more light cruiser than anything else. You know, light gumbo. Let's go back to full and hard over. Oh, flooding, flooding, flooding. Where'd you get the flooding? And she's bleeding in the bow, and this is letting the Kaikoma catch up. Torpedoes out again. Is that a single or a pair? One single. And she's turning away again. Yeah, she's spotting these torpedoes nearly every time. It's a wonder we ever actually managed to hit her with the first ones. Or hit them with the first ones. It almost feels like bullying now, looking at the structural levels that we've got on both of these, 80, uh, 85 and 82, and we've already sunk two of their ships. Torpedo in the water, she's already starting to turn away. Um, yeah, the structural levels on these two ships, and we've already sunk two of theirs. We, we may have overbuilt slightly here. Out turns the torpedo. And we go to flank and actually just run the, the Yats. Uh, uh, the Yats. It's called the Yats rather than trying to mess it up everything else. I like Kaikoma, much easier to pronounce. I'm um, just going to run the Yats straight because she will uh, she will keep a keep a beam on the um, a bead on the uh, the Maria here do the same with Kaikoma now that she's turning and we're actually going to finally get to put her in the center let's drop it down to full she can definitely turn tighter than we can. It's much smaller displacement. Hard rudder. Yeah, she's going to escape this. Now would be the time to drop a torp, though.
Back to full, hard rudder. Torpedoes hit, nice. She did drop the torps. And there she goes. So that's all three of them were taken down by the torpedoes. So the torpedoes were basically the king there. Mission complete. All right, so that was Sink the Raiders. So that was the two transports survived, and we got the enemy fleet down. Um, yeah, it would almost have been better. That possibly could have been done faster if we built light cruisers and just went as heavy as we could on the torpedo build. Real light displacement, lots of torpedo launches, as many as we could possibly get. If we had access to destroyers, destroyers would probably have been a pretty good option as well. Anyways, ladies and gents, that was Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It's nice to have it back on the channel. It's nice to be able to play it again. I couldn't get this to load up at all. And I never did get all the Naval Academy stuff finished off. So we've got a whole bunch here that I've got to go through. We've got to get through the rest. These ones here, these are new. Complete more missions to unlock this one. I These weren't here the last time I played. So these were obviously added in the patch that uh, sort of broke the game. So we get Sink Cruiser Killer, which I don't even recall ever trying. I do recall trying Meet the US Battleships. But yeah, I've got a lot of these to actually knock over. And I'm really sort of hoping we'll get access to the campaigns soon enough. At the moment, we still don't have the campaigns. We just have custom battles. I really want to play the campaign of this. But anyways, guys, until next time, take care.